Hi everybody, it's Eileen. Happy to see you all on this Tuesday. It's getting dark out already. Pretty soon it's daylight savings. I don't know if all of you guys have that, but we do. Um, let's see, share it. Okay, I don't know if it did it. Hey, Charlotta, good to see ya. Hope you're having a good week. Hi, Michelle. I have this huge pile of stuff in front of me. So uh, my husband just got home from work and I ran down. It's like, ah, uh, hey, Aaron Reed and Jen White. Jill, good to see you. Jill, your wreath is beautiful. Hey, Karen. And yeah, there's Michelle. Yeah, yeah. Mary, Maz, how you doing? You're awake, not napping. <laughs> I wanted to have a nap today so bad because all day I drank water and no caffeine. Hey, Lisa. And you do have a charlotta. Okay, so daylight savings in Sweden. <laughs> or, oh, wait. Yeah, Sweden. Hi, Jane. Hi, Allison and Frederica. Lori. Hey. Well, everybody's popping on. Hi, Deborah and Angie. Good to see you guys. And Anne. Oh, this is fun. Ulrika. That book is amazing. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, I just missed somebody. Hey, Eileen. Sorry. Hey, Bev. Yeah, so um, I went to lunch today. My birthday is coming up and my friend uh, asked when I could go for lunch. Hey, Karen. And uh, so we went today and um, was up first. I can't see. You're going, you're talking too fast. I love seeing you. Hey, Anna. So we went to Uncle Julio's, which <laughs> it's a, um, a Mexican restaurant, really good. And we had margaritas. That didn't help my um, sleepiness. So I was driving home. I swear, I almost fell asleep. Hi, Barbara and Donna. Um, Loretta. Yeah, I, I can't take the drinking in the middle of the day. Hello, Debbie and Rose. Oh, good to see you all. There's Emma. Yeah. So, um, it was a busy weekend. We didn't do that much, but, uh, it was fun working on a train case. Oh, that's a fun one. I wish I had more of those. I am done. I'm out of them. But, uh, first of all, I want to say I talked with Pam Bray and she was, she was so grateful and thankful and said to tell you guys that she loves you and she thanks you very much. Hi, Michelle. She thanks you very much for your little box of good thoughts that we sent to her. She got it and she said she read one and she started crying. So she said she's gonna take them one at a time, which I think is good. Hi, Lee, Chantal, Linda. Making mitten boxes, good. So she was very touched and um, she just wanted me to tell you thank you and that she will treasure this and she will read them as she needs them, which is exactly what we wanted her to do. So I want to thank all of you. We had, I don't know, 50 or 60 little messages in there. And, uh, I think that, you know, she's probably going to need them because, um, she's having a hard time these days. Hi, Lisa. So anyway, thank you from Pam Bray. So, um, oh, and here she is. You guys know Pam. We took Pam, Pam on a stick <laughs> to CHA with us. So I had her picture and, um, hey, Glum. She did make another account and she, I'm not sure if she's back in the fan club, but she's in, hey, Lisa and Leslie. Um, she's in with, um, our inspiration team Facebook group, but I'm not sure if she's back in Facebook yet, but I, she must be to get in the group. So she is, but I'm not sure. She doesn't have time. She's been back and forth to the hospital several times. So anyway, she is so, so happy that we are thinking of her. And um, so thank you. Okay, so let me just show you. I went shopping this weekend. What can I say? It was so much fun. Uh, we went out to the beach and I hid a Tuesday morning... Yesterday I went to an Ollie's. That was fun. I don't think I have anything in here from Ollie's. But anyway, I'll show you what I have uh, in a minute. Um, 
And I did also want to say I found a little carousel for my stand. I found this at Big Lots. It was $4. It's a little big, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it on there. I did order some more, and I got several of them, so if anybody wants one, um, it, I don't have it on here yet, but this is for now. I just wanted to make sure it worked, and I love it. It's really cool. So this is the project. If you haven't seen this, uh, we did this last week during our Facebook Lives. This is the gift box, and then we have four of the new post boxes without their flaps uh, on this piece right here. Okay, so um, if you want to see how to do it, you can search down in the feed, or you can go over to YouTube and uh, see them there, because I posted them over there. Oh, thanks, Ulrika. I'm taking that from you. It's a huge compliment. All right. I also had time to do a little stitching. So I made this, which is just made out of the uh, felt that I have in the Etsy store. These would make a ton of them. Uh, so if you want them, you can head over to the Etsy store. I just put a little thing of, of uh, tea bags in here. You got a Lazy Susan 3 inch. Well, cool. You bought three more of the rails. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, journaling cards, flowers, and leaves, and then the teacup. I just stitched it up, did a blanket stitch around it. Yeah, it's cute. I mean, you could tuck it in a, a little card or something, and, you know, whatever kind of berries. This, I think, was from Jenny Atkinson. I'm not sure, but she was telling me that this is from the UK or Scotland, wherever she got it, that um, the little, oh, I, there's a message I can't see. It's too long. Hey, Val. So she gave me that so it's even nicer that, and it kind of matches. So you could make them in the colors to match um, whatever, whatever you wanted. So you could just give this for Christmas in a Christmas stocking or, you know, if you're selling these at craft shows, they do take a little bit of time if you hand stitch them. And I did the little, you know, ridiculous number of French knots. So I did all the stitching on the the um, outside first. You know, I stitched this to the one cup and then I stitched them all together. So it's a nice thing to carry with you. So there's Sandy. Hey, Val. And um, another thing I wanted to show you, and I have this in the Etsy store, and I'm going to do a class these are $10. These are random bags of jewelry, and there is a lot of good stuff in here. It's a pound of jewelry for 10 bucks. So I think what we're gonna do in a class one time, I'm, I don't know, I, and I have had this question, guys, and maybe you can help me. All right, um, my question is, do we wanna do a, another retreat? because I do have a lot of ideas and I think there are things that we could use at the holidays. So maybe an ornament, I don't know. I haven't even really broken it down, but I'm wondering if anybody would be interested in doing another little workshop like we did in the group, you know, we did at the beach house. And there we did three, three classes. Oh, that's okay, Jane. Uh, three classes and we took the day. Um, or, I could do one at a time, you know, and we just do a single class and you can pick whatever it is, not all day. Okay. All right. That was long. I agree. So maybe we just do some single classes. You were exhausted. <laughs> you could have, you could have watched later. Yeah. Retreat. Yeah. Maybe two classes or maybe, I don't know. Okay. Whatever you think. Okay, not all day. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you could watch it later, but I know it was like uh, another class. It was a lot to teach in a day, too. Maybe we do a weekend and we just do one each day. You know, one class each day. I don't know. Two classes would be great. All right. One at a time. I mean, that way, you know, if we did it where the price was per class, then you could take whichever one you want or all of them if you wanted. So, okay. Maybe every Tuesday. Well, every Tuesday. <laughs> we are doing classes, Michelle. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe cost was too much from benefits. 
Okay, I'm not sure. Well, Karen, you had already taken the stitching one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you're saying you'd rather just have the choice of which ones to take. Okay, I get that. Yeah, all right. Well, if you have any thoughts on it, if you could leave it in the comments, and then I'll kind of look through and see what is the most popular... Um, <laughs> wrong day. Um, you know, what is the most popular way or what you people want to do? You still never made the bone holder seat. Now, I think that would be a good one to do. I think a lot of people would like to do that one because that would be a great Christmas gift. Maybe we do something a little different to it. I don't know. If you already took it, you wouldn't want it. But uh, there were a lot of people that didn't. So anyway, all right. Well, I will think about that. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, I'll let you know. Okay. So thank you for your input. And um, let me just show you this other stuff while we're sitting here. Oh yeah, the country view clip, that was a good one. Okay, I got a bunch of napkins. Okay, single classes, good to know. Isn't that adorable? I was thinking they have these little tiny prints for the tiny book, wouldn't that be cute? All right, one at a time, that's good. Look at this one. Oh, this one is, I think, Christmas cookies. Do I have it going the right direction? Yeah, isn't that cute? Choice is good because you're not a hand stitcher because Arthur has permanent resin. <laughs> oh, arthritis. Yeah, so that's cute. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, here's another little one. Isn't that cute? Oh, make your own fun video. <laughs> Kim, I know, I did one. I, I have to get it back to you, but it's bad. All right, here's another one. This is kind of like toile. I thought that was really pretty. And that would be a good journal size you know tall and a nice background this one is might be my favorite look at those birds isn't it cute tiny skiers would be cute on a mitten box they would oh now here and this you know i know that it's not summer but look at that one isn't it beautiful i had to get them and here's another poppy because i love that other poppy that i got and I justify this with the fact that I can still use them for napkins if I don't use the whole package of them. Or the other thing that I was thinking, well, I'll tell you later. I, I have a lot of thoughts on these. <laughs> these are fun. Oh, here's one more. Now, this is one that we might use today. It says thankful. And here's another one that I think I am going to use on my journal today. But I am going to make them in a different way than I did the other one. We don't have those birds here. You have robins. We have robins too, but the cardinals are the Virginia State bird, um, even though some people say they're mosquitoes. <laughs> so this is what's going to go on the cover because it matches my, um, oh, thanks, Kim, my uh, paper pad that I got, which I'll show you also in a minute. Um, this is some stuff from the Dollar Tree. Oh, hey, Chris. Chris, I hope you're doing okay, and I hope you don't mind. Chris lost her mom, so she needs some love, too. So we all need to help each other, don't you think? All right, this is waxed basket liner. So this would be like if you had a picnic and you put some, uh, you know, hot dogs or french fries in here. Uh, you could use this, but I was thinking wax. Well, that could be interesting because maybe you could wipe it off. So I don't know. I want to play around with that a little bit. I mean, it was a dollar. Okay, this, I was at Ollie's yesterday. It's a road atlas, which I'm not sure you can see it backwards here. Where did I get the pretty napkins? I got them at different places. Most of them were at Tuesday morning. Stacy, um, I did get a couple packs at Walmart. And actually, I went upstairs in my napkin stash, which I buy because they're pretty, and then I forget to get them out. But a couple of them, I think the autumn ones, I had that I had gotten somewhere. I have no idea. There was no price tag on it to say. So, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, Chris is our good friend. That's hard. Ugh. So, um, anyway, the thing that I really liked about this little skinny atlas was, for one thing, look at these cute little pages. And you could put that right on the cover of a journal, or you could use them for pages inside. 
and they're perfect. I mean, they're just easy to cut. You could rip them right out. And then the other thing that I liked was they had, when you get to the cities, you know how they're different? Um, they lay them out like sideways and, you know, you could use for the tiny book. You could use this to make the tiny book. Oh, and this was $2.99, but I also thought I could just put it in my car if I wanted. So a napkin swap. All right, Michelle, hold on. That's something that's coming up, but we're not talking about it yet. <laughs> we got too much going on, guys. We have our big event coming up in November and December, and the um, team and I have been coordinating what we're going to do. We're getting a kit together if you want to buy the kit. So it's really coming along and uh, exciting. So hang on. We're, we have new news coming up and we also need to pick the name. So if you guys have not picked a name for our event, uh, go ahead. You know what? I'll refresh it and it can come up to the top and um, we can we need to pick a name. So go ahead in and vote on a name and then we'll make our logo and all that stuff. Okay. So at, uh, Ollie's, this is the other thing that I got and you can't see it, but it says a complete book of chalk lettering. So Kim, I've been looking at this for a while. I never bought it, but now I did buy it and I can't wait to go in and see some of these techniques and you want to have any German napkins? Yes. I want all kinds party 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 that's us yeah it's gonna be fun that is really get ready because your december is gonna be if you want it to be you know so this i thought was really pretty just ways to use chalk i have a lot of chalk from the kids when they come like sideways chalk yes that's don't what are you kidding throw it in the trash i love that card lisa look at these just little diagrams i mean this is great inspiration so um, this was $3.99. I don't know if you guys have uh, Ollie's by you, but uh, if you ever see one, it's called Ollie's Outlet, and their theme is Good Stuff Cheap. I mean, how can that be bad? So I did buy that there. And they also have a lot of kids stuff, little kids, um, you know, t toys and books for really good prices. So, okay, here's another thing. Now let me open this up. This one I... They had two. One of them was messed up, so I bought the one that was in the case. And then I'm going to tear it up my, out myself, <laughs> open it up. But, you know, you always get the one that's in the packaging. But the reason I got this was I really like the pages. It's a guest book. Wait. I never get stuff off. Of it's a visitor's register. So the fun thing is... Yes, Stacy, that's right. The pages are... I mean, look at those lines. Aren't they great? They would be really good for a journal. And this was $2.99, so, you know, but you'll get a lot of pages out of that. So, and I even like the top because it says uh, department or person visited, purpose of visit, badge number. I mean, time in, time out, kind of fun. So um, that's another thing that I got, and I think that was $2.99 too. All right. Then I got some paper pads. I was at Michael's and I got this fall tapestry, which is pretty. It's got some gold foil. Oh, I know our moms are, I mean, just the older you get, you appreciate them. Treasure trove, that's right. So I don't know the best way to show these, but that's a gold foil, really pretty. I just like their leaves. Now we could use this today, but I'll show you the other one that we're gonna use. It's a smaller scale, and for the size of the journal that I wanna make, um, this is a little large. I mean, a lot of these pages would work, but I might make a big one. I don't know, I haven't done a journal in a long time. You know, the Traveler's Notebook size. All right, now this one, I love. Okay, so this is a Christmas one, but just really kind of elegant, you know, and it's got some of the cut aparts. I think you can see. Anyway, this came from Michael's, and there were a lot of pages in this one that I thought that I would use. So if you're if you're around one, go take a look. All right, and here are a couple things. Now, this is these are simple stories, and it's the botanicals, and you really. 
can't beat it. Now this is 25 pages, I think. It doesn't say how many, but they usually do 25 pages in a pack. So that's that one. And then I got this one, which, look at this, with the butterflies. And look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? They're like little swatches. And um, I think these two go together pretty nicely. So I might do a little kit out of that. Now, this is the last one. <laughs> and I got this for Nora. So this is a little unicorn. I think it has, oh no, it's princess. They did have a unicorn one, but I got this. No, it's not Michael's. These last three, these packs were at um, Tuesday morning. So I got them yesterday. Wait, no, I got them Sunday. So run over there if you can. <laughs> yeah, the butterfly one is really pretty. All right, now I have to put all this stuff down so that there's room to talk <laughs> and do a project. All right, so... Thank you, Glum, for posting my Etsy store. Yeah, the little girl. She will love that, Chris. She will just love it. All right, let me get my thing figured out here. Oh, I forgot to see if I could see you. All right, now what's it going to be today? Will there be the stream? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no comments. Oh, yo, no, you're there. You're there. I'm not touching anything. Okay. All right. Here we go. And there are comments. Very good. All right. I'm going to turn this camera down. Okay. I'm not going to go crazy trying to adjust. If we get it, we get it. <laughs> if not, oh, well. Okay. So I put all this stuff under here because today what I thought we would do is make a little journal. I don't have one ready, but I had made one before, a pocket journal using six by six papers. And this is the paper pack I got. And I don't think that's even an amazing price on this, but you know, $5.99 and they're front and back. And I just thought that just says fall to me. So look at these tiny little pages here that could be for the tiny book. Aren't they adorable? So I got this and I thought, I'm going to make a little journal. So the other thing that I'm using, these are all things you can get in my Etsy store if you're interested. I've got these little pocket pouch things that perfectly fit in the... Um, pocket notebook. They're checkbook covers, but they're vinyl. And so if you have anything that you want to put in there that you want to keep nice, then you can do that. So I think they're three for five dollars. They're in the Etsy store. You can take a look if you're interested. Okay. We also have the easy cut adhesive. I'm going to try a shortcut today with my napkins because last time we did the napkin decoupage, it took a while, which I don't have a problem with. And I definitely want the cover to be protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our adhesive and we're going to adhere this on first, then we're going to coat over it so it's sealed. That's my plan. I don't know if how that's going to work, but hopefully it will. All right, and then we're going to do it on mat board because you just want a sturdy cover. So we're going to use our pocket notebook die. So you guys probably have a lot of this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. And I did my one attempt to work ahead was to cut down the paper and the what do you call it? the mat board and the adhesive to size but I still have to peel it off and stick it on and cheese you like the checkbook covers yeah that's what now nobody has checkbooks well I still do but I don't use them I just use the little I get the duplicate checks and I just leave it the way it is looking ugly but then I know which one is the current one but it's for my dad's estate not for me I always use my debit card all right so I'm just covering my covers with adhesive okay now I've got the napkin and I'm gonna take this apart like we have done in the past and I think I hope it's gonna fit hmm well, it's a little bit short, but what I might do is just kind of do like a, eh, 
I'm just going to put it right on and put something up here. Maybe some kind of like a ribbon or a trim or something. Okay, so this is only a two-ply, I think, unless this one comes apart more, but that's all right. So, you know, it might be a two-ply, it might be a three-ply. Just cut them. I'm just going to cut it in half, and then we'll do whatever we need on each one. All right, so you're not going to notice if this kind of blends into the next piece, so... The only thing that I'm thinking might be an issue is laying it down and crumpling it, but I don't care about that either. You know, it's a napkin. So what? If it's a little bit crinkly, that's what napkins do. And it's thin, so it's not going to, you know, get in the way or lift up or anything. So let's just see how this works. Okay. I'm just maybe go sideways and then come in like this. Oh, we have a little net on there. Get out of here. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. All right, we have a little extra. <laughs> I just picked up, I have another rose. And I picked some more hydrangeas. And thanks, everybody, for watching the hydrangea wreath. And, uh... I'm so happy some of you made the wreaths and posted them. They're so pretty. I mean, those are just the prettiest flowers ever. All right, I'm going to save this, but I kind of messed that up there. But it's a napkin. Okay, so here's one. All right, let's do the other one. And the other thing is we're just going to have to remember to flip these. And I do have that on my die, and I'll show you that in one minute. These are the same, so it won't matter. All right. Yeah, that one's a little crinkly, but that's who cares. All right. Let's see if I could just rip it like this. Hayward is busy in the kitchen. Hayward is having the remains of my Mexican lunch that I had. <laughs> He's very happy. Oh, it was beautiful. I hardly ever have drinks at lunch, so man, might have to have a nap tonight. Okay, so just smooth these down a little. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and then I will decoupage the covers so that we can let them dry and then we'll do the, um, the pages, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna put our book together. And here I've got the pocket notebook die. <clears throat> Sorry, got something in my throat. All right, this one here is the cover. Now I'm just gonna do a three three spine cover. I don't need a big thick one, but I do wanna show you that I, I'm using this and I'm so proud. Um, this is a five, but what we're gonna do is just do the three for this one because I don't know how much fall stuff I'm gonna have, but I am so happy because I, I told my husband, I'm gonna write in here. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm doing it just to show him that I am. Um, but just to go over the die, okay, here is the cover, so we're going to need two of those. Here are the pages. I'm not going to use these this time because what we're going to do is kind of a different folding, kind of not technique, but um, a way to make pockets in our book. These two things here are little closures or uh, pen loops, so you can use them for whatever you want. So just so you know what the pieces are. Okay, now you'll notice on here I wrote B and F. I want one to be the front and one to be the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of map board and I'm going to place that face down on the die. So this will be my back and the other one will be my front. And I don't know what I'm going to do inside yet, but just line it up so you, you know, get it going where you want. And you can use the shorter cutting pad. You don't need the long one on here because we're just going over that piece. But let's pull that out and run it through. Can you guys see okay? It seems kind of close, but I don't want to mess this up here. 
Why not do the inside covers before cutting? Yeah, Leanne, I'm not sure what I want to do on the inside. So I may just cover it with ink, you know, like ink it. I don't know. I have to see how the pages look. I don't want too much, but uh, I'm just not sure about that. All right, so where'd it go? This one, see, that's the back. So that cut out fine. And now we're going to do the front. So we're going to take the die and we're going to flip it around here. We're going to have the, you know, the side that we want going there. So we'll just cover this up and just make sure we've got the bottom. Yep, we're good. And then we will run the other one through. This way. I can't get a good angle with my hand. All right. Don't touch anything. I know. Okay. So I think we're good. And we're just going to take our die pick and, you know, now this worked out pretty well. Um, I like to put foam in here to just help these release. You know, when you get um, pieces of mat board. So just pick them out. This is just foam. That's a tip that I I do. You don't have to, but it helps the uh, these little holes pop out easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and poke them through. All right. So we will put the... Actually, I might just put it together because that's one less step and then do the decoupage. Probably could even do that right at the end, but. Okay. All right, so let's, all right, here's my little mat, some placemat that I just use when I wanna do some messy stuff, so. And I've got my handy dandy little, little, isn't that fun? I love it. I think the other one will be better though because it'll take up less space. You know, this is kind of, all right. Is this, are my hands like huge here? They look gigantic. <laughs> okay, so here is, wait, this, I'm starting a new one because I can't find my other one plus it was almost halfway done or lower so I had to keep dunking in this is that decoupage matte glue sealer finish so what we're using it today as a sealer and a finish instead of a glue but we could have if we didn't want to wait and we wanted to just uh, I mean what we did was we just took our uh, adhesive you probably could have used also spray adhesive, you know, to get the, the napkin to stick. And here you can see I've got a little bit of wrinkling, but that's not, not a problem. But I do like this because, um, you know, if you're going to use a journal, you don't want it to, like, run if you're out in the rain with it or it gets wet or something. You know, you just want it to be protected a little bit. So you could laminate it or just give it a little coat of this. And it goes fast. In fact, I was thinking I might do that with this. You know, because this is going to have some wear on it. So I may go through and just give this a coat too. So, well, it dries pretty quick. So we'll just give this our coat. Here's our front. And that came out really pretty good. Doesn't matter. If you have, like, the little brush strokes that's kind of cool too so don't worry if you get them and you could even just go you know to make it a random pattern just make sure you cover it but it'll, it dries clear so not a problem okay so that's done I'm just gonna soak my brush that's one thing I recommend because this stuff it dries fast and you will ruin a brush I don't know I've, how I've managed to not ruin, but um, see, I could have done put this together first, or I could wait and let it dry, do it then. Um, 
you know, I don't think it matters. So I'm just going to set this aside and I have my elastic. Now I found a nice gold that I thought would be pretty for fall. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put this aside and now we will do our little pages. Okay. So the thing about this is that's fun is you can make them into pockets. All right. So we're just going to cut them and score them. Now I did go ahead because this is one of those paper pads that's got this little hole in it. So I just cut it at six inches. There still is like a little bit of a divot here, but that's fine. So we're just going to go ahead and score each one and we're going to do it at two and three quarters. And what you're going to find is that we're going to have, well, you'll see. It's like an odd shape. It's not in half, you know? So when you do this, you're gonna have a little gap here, which can be a tab, you'll see in a minute. So, and then you can also decide which side is the A side and which is the B side, which one you wanna see and which one you wanna tuck inside. So we'll just go through that and Oh, look at that one. I love that. And this is a cute one, too. You know, I don't know why I don't do anything more fallish, because I really like this time of year. Orange is not my favorite, though, I will say. All right, so we're just going along. Yes, that paper pack is beautiful. There's so many. Um, I think they're 12, 48 double-sided. It doesn't say how many patterns, but a lot. They're really pretty. And double-sided is always better. That's a cute one. Look at that. It's going to be hard to pick which ones I like better. And then we're going to use, oh, that's pretty too. See, I love how they put the aqua in there. And I could just score them all and then... All right, last one. That one, I do like these pumpkins. I'm seeing tons of them, the aqua. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is... We are going to make little pocket inserts. In fact, our whole book is going to be made of pockets. All right, so what we're going to do is kind of play around with the paper a little bit and see how you want to do this. You can either, you know, have your book, have it open like this, right in here, put your photos, whatever, and then adhere these so that this is a pocket and you have an easy place to stick things, you know, or you can butt these two up like that and you can have a pocket in here, you know, and you can butt this up to that and have a short pocket. So there's really a lot of ways you can go with doing this little book. So I think the first thing that I want to do is figure out which is the side I want seen. And so that one would be that. That I like, so I'm going to leave that. That one I like. That one I don't love. All right, let's just do it like this. That's pretty. We might need more of that color. I like the pattern. This one is really cute. I like the leaves too, but... Um, you know, that one, got to see that. This, that's pretty. And then, I might need a solid in here somewhere. That I like, but it just doesn't seem to go. It says pumpkin, pumpkin truck, but I kind of like that pattern. And that I like too. In fact, that, I might even make that for my cover. So... The first thing that we're going to want to do, let's just take this and let me get my glue out of my handy dandy little, I have the glue in here. And this is like my real basic supplies, really basic. So my pencils, my little makeup brush, two little scissors, too many scissors. I can't have favorite scissors for everything, but we'll just use our glue here and then you know pick out what goes so how do we want to do this do we want to make one 
this ha and this, if we do it that way, they have to match. So I don't think those do. This is pretty strong. So let's do maybe this. You know, that's cute. See, if we do it this way, you won't see it. So I think, let's do this one so there's a tag right here. Except we're going to miss this flap, but you'll see this and that's cool with the church and I do like how the red back there so what we're gonna do is just now you could use tape but I'm just gonna do this and one thing that is important is you want to keep the backs together and straight so that when you put this book together it's flat like the binding is flat like right there so let's just let that sit for a minute and you could use your little clips if you want, but all right. So the next one is this. That's pretty too, though. So if we do this, then that will be open, and that's pretty. And I like how these go. So we're just gonna do this randomly. So you're gonna do it on the smaller flap wherever it is, because if you keep going up here, you're gonna have glue where you don't want it. Just a little line. You don't need a whole lot. And just keep making sure that you're you know keeping it flat on the ground here on the table all right and so i'm just going to go kind of design to design i think that's cute all right so when it starts getting thicker then you're going to see okay if i rest that on the ground it's not going to match up so you have to kind of you know stack them start stacking after you do a couple of them did I say like that or see I don't love that but I like that being the full page or let's see about this sometimes you just have to try stuff all right I'm not looking echo park oh thank you no this came from Tuesday morning they had a bunch of little paper pet now I like that a lot I don't like how that and that go but you're going to be paging through the book. You'll already be past that. I do like how that looks. And that's nice because we have a lot going on here. So, And, you know, if you're doing this and you have a little time, you might want to let them kind of sit for a minute before you move on to the next one. So now I'm moving to where I'm just going to line them up on the flat of the ground. Okay. So this spine still, you know, it's okay. That looks fine. All right, so what's next? Maybe this, that would be pretty. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So oh, now see this one is, you shouldn't be able to see that. So this needs to come down a little, but it might be too late. You have a little bit of time, but see, it can get away from you quickly if you don't watch out. But I am trying to read stuff and all that. So you guys just make sure, be aware of it. But you know, in the end, it's going to be in a book. You'll probably never be measuring and all that. So don't worry about it if it's not exactly perfect. Yeah, this is fine. And, you know, I didn't even fold these with the bone folder, so that might help a little, too. All right, so see, and then with the other paper that we have, we can make little tags and cards and stick them in here. And then you also have places to add little journaling, you know, all throughout here. I love it. It's just so fun to look at the seasons, and we're lucky to have them. The papers they really are pretty nothing about what we do is perfect <laughs> that's true oh yeah it's time for I think it's time for this and so we'll go for two little short ones here I like that and I don't I hate vegetables so I don't care about pumpkins <laughs> I would never eat one <laughs> I know Ulrika has beautiful pumpkins she grows them I don't know I didn't see any this year Ulrika I don't know if you're still there but she had like huge 
and pretty. They were perfect. I tried to grow them when I was a kid and I had no luck. But I don't really have a green thumb anyway, so can't do everything. All right, now this is, I don't know why it's doing that. That doesn't look good. See, oh, okay, I can still take it apart. It heard me say I didn't like vegetables and it rebelled. But I don't want to get this off track because then it's hard to get back. So just line them up. Oh, see, why is it doing that? I'm going to go at it this way. Might need more glue in a minute. Oh, this paper is shorter. That's why. All right. Well, we'll just ink over it or something. Not a problem. At least it's straight. All right. So when I trimmed it, it was just a little bit off. Okay. This might be nice. See, I don't want to get rid of that. Let's see what else there is. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, so you can see there's not really a rhyme or reason to this, but it's going to be fun when we get it done because we're going to have all those cute little pockets that we can put stuff in. And all you do is you've got, you know, all you need is a paper pad, a little paper pad, and you're good to go. You dated a guy. Oh, man, the best part of the <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. All right, so just keep checking and make sure. Now, when you get to this point, you only have a couple left, so see if you can plan a little more because you don't want to get to the end. I mean, there's no number that you have to have, but... You know, well, I don't love either of these, so we don't have to use it. That's pretty. Oh, I like how that looks. That's pretty strong. But that would go nice with that one. You know what? I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go to the lighter because if I want to write in here, it's going to be hard to see. You could always mat it and put something over it, but... Anyway, so what are you guys doing? Same as squash then. Oh, okay. Is Ulrika okay? All right. I hope you're not offended by my pumpkin remark, Ulrika. But you know I don't like vegetables. <laughs> she, she has. She, I don't know what Ulrika, Ulrika thinks. Ulrika had 24 hours with me, which was probably my mark anybody should have to have but we were in a hotel in London we had a great old time now that looks pretty all right if we did that yeah that would okay and that's not a bad last page all right so let's do that because I really just like I said it doesn't go it, it's fine but he might have made me coffee mostly he made... <laughs> is that an old boyfriend the one that had the pumpkin patch <laughs> oh glum glum is a new yorker could you tell <laughs> we have to stick together all right let's see yeah cover that oh oh well it's still gonna have a little bit of that showing but that's all right You know, you look at a front and back of a paper and you just think, yup, nope. <laughs> All right. All right, now it's getting a little bulky here, so. Yeah, it's still looking pretty good, but I did, like I said, I didn't score these, so they're not laying so flat. Haven't been yet. I'll be an eye missing Ireland. Oh no, your hands are getting more. I didn't go out. They're not tan. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I went out to just, 
I don't know. We don't... I was just saying to my friend, we didn't even go to the beach. Like, usually we go to the beach when we're there. Oops, I forgot about this one. But that's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just, um, we drove by it and I looked at the waves. Honestly, the last time I went there, the waves were crazy and it scared me. And I don't know, even if it was warm enough, I don't know if I would have gone in. Because it was, um, somebody drowned um, from the tide, the rip tide, and that just scares the heck out of me. So, you worked in London for more than 40 years. Must admit, you don't miss it. Yeah, that's a small city right now. Ugh. Okay, almost there, guys. Yeah, that's that's a good ending. That's fine. So we used 12 pages. And I don't know what else I want to put in there. We'll, we'll work on it, but something. Oops. All right, that one got a little added. Oh, shoot. You know what I was going to do was round the corners. I, I can still do it, but I was going to round all the corners. Yeah, that's good. All right, it's not perfect, but that's pretty good to go in our book. Lots of little places to tuck things. All right, let's go ahead and round the corners. What time is it? Oh, yeah. Well, I like to do the quarter inch. And I probably can do a couple at a time. So, so what are you guys, are you working on stuff while you're watching, I hope? Using your time wisely. Hey, Mitsiana, you nearly drowned in the sea when you were a kid. Oh, see, that does, I had read a thing on Facebook about this lady who had been in the water, she went with her friend, and she went with a bunch of people, and she, but she and her friend went in the water, and she started getting sucked under by the undertow and was waving to her friends and they thought she was saying hi and nobody went out to help her. And she said in that five minutes that she was in there by herself, she almost drowned. And I had read that right before we went to the beach and I was like, oh, I'm getting out. Well, Hayward and I went in and um, it was, it was rough. It, it was, we drifted way down really fast. And um, I did not like it, so we got out. And that was the last time I went in. But by next year, I will go in. I will totally forget about that. And normally, it's fine. And there are lifeguards. That was the other thing. The lifeguards had left. You know, they leave on Labor Day, and we went in after. So, all right, let's just check these. Make sure any ones that we can do. Yeah, I'll just ink up there. This one I can do. Yeah, there are a couple that are not matching up perfectly. That's it. You are chasing a cat who is wide awake. Isn't it late, Charlotta? Get that putty to go to sleep. So we have some stuff coming up, guys. Um, oh, today is the last day, I think, for the Halloween challenge. Is that right, Mitziana? Can't wait to see it. I'm not sure what that is. Ah. Okay. So here we go. We've got our little insert book. So let's go ahead and see how our book cover is doing. We're going a little long, guys. Maybe I should just come back. You know what? That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll finish this up on... What do you think? Or should we keep going? He's up to no good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, uh, it's pretty dry. It feels good. I think we could work with it, but it's like five of seven. So what do you think? Today's the last day. All right. Let me. You know what? Let's let's call it a day. Uh, we'll come back on Thursday and put finish putting this together. 
Um, but let's talk for a minute. Only person you disturb, Ulrika, is your lunatic or savage. Okay. Riptide. Yeah, swim parallel to shore. I know, I was trying, but we did get out because I, I looked down the thing. I'm like, how, how did we get here? I couldn't see our, our tent or our umbrella. So, okay. So let's see. It's either food or water. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> keep going, keep going, really? Keep going, please? <laughs> All right, well, I know that my husband had dinner, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, all right, well, it's going to be quick, hopefully. We're, all we're going to do is just fold over our covers. And I, like I said, we're going to do the three. Now, if we were going to do the five, you know, we would fold it uh, here. But instead, we're going to fold it at three. All right. So this is our back, and see, we did have a little bit of that. But you know what might be cool is to sand it down and have some kind of, you know, weathered-looking stuff, which we could do later. But then we're just going to set our cover on like that. And we could glue that. I'll just poke this one last thing out. This is easy. You guys have done this before. But let's just glue this down. And as usual, I'm having it so that my front wraps around to the back. Just so that, like, if we had it like this, we'd be looking at this double thing here. So I just like to cover that and, you know, make it go this way. It feels really nice. So I'm just going to take this and we could use our double stick tape, but... I have this out, so, and then I'm going to get a couple clips, and then we'll bind it. Get my fun little clips out of my drawer. I'm still trying to get things, you know, just in the right spot. All right, so let's just line up these holes. This is squishing out a little bit, but, and clip them together. And we probably should let that sit for a minute. Okay, well let's talk about the binding, because there's a couple ways we can do it, and people always ask about how is the best way, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with one piece of elastic, just because it's easier for me. And another thing that I like to have when I'm doing, this is probably a 1.5 millimeter elastic. If I go any fatter than this, then I get my stick, and because I'm going to need that to help put it through. So you'll see in a minute how, why I'm saying that. Maybe I should have used the, uh, oh well, I should have used the tape, because... Hopefully this will stick together. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take our elastic, and it's probably a yard, and we may have to, um, it's shifting a little. I might have to re-glue this. I don't know. Why is that thing poking out there? I thought I just poked that screw. All right, so we're going to start on the inside. See, now this is kind of a pain, because this likes to, sh uh, what do you call it, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fray. All right, so I'm just going to pull this all the way through, and then you can hold it or you can clip it, whatever you want to do. It's, it's not really going anywhere. Then you're going to come over here and just thread that in to the other side gonna bring it down the middle so that these lines are parallel because this is where you're gonna put your little insert books so you need the long strings in the middle and then uh, yeah this is shifting oh well all right you're gonna come over here so all of your 
horizontal st strands should be over here and all of your vertical strands should be here. I probably have extra. I always do. And pull that through. And then you're going to come over here and this is going to have to go through where there's already elastic but that's fine because this is 1.5. It's probably my favorite all around size elastic. And this is, I think this elastic is from my mother-in-law and she passed away in like, when did she die? I can't remember but it, like years ago, 10 years ago. But she did craft fairs and I was like, oh, I'll take that elastic. <laughs> so I think of her when I use it. Yep, way too much. Oh well. So then I'm just going to tie this. And that's how we have our book and we're almost done. What is my elastic length? Denise, I think I had a yard. I had... This was for a class, and I think I had cut them into yard lengths, but it's really, if you're only doing the three, or well, it's four, you know, you can see you have four strands, uh, you probably don't need that much. But you could do a, <clears throat> a test, and I think that all the time. I should have a little chart, but I always forget. Now this piece here, what you could do, because you have this hole in the middle, See, I'm going to have to go in and put glue inside here to keep it together. But really, the good thing is your elastic is a secondary, uh, you know, adhesive, really, to keep this binder together. This is not going anywhere, you know, but I will secure that down after. So these, that one's a little loose, but these are okay. So I can go back and retie that. I might do that later. Okay, so the other thing that I started to say was, if you wanted, you could use this hole here to put like a, a loop, and then you could use this as a closure. But I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, so I'll hang on to this, and I might do it, I might not. If you do, you'd have to punch another hole before you put it together. You know, you could use your pokey tool and try and get through there, but... It's easier to use like um, the crocodile. All right, so now we have the cover, and this is staying together pretty good, but you can see here, yeah, we're definitely gonna need. But no big deal, just put a line of glue in there, and now it's not going anywhere, so. And then what I would probably do also is take something heavy, a book or some dies, and lay that flat, you know, and let it, um, let it dry. You know, just lay something really heavy here. So then we're going to take our little book. Now the only thing about it, oh, did I get glue on there? Mm. Oh well, I'll have to put a little sticker or something. So what I'm going to do is just kind of find the middle of the book and I'm going to tuck this in my little signature. And then you've got your little book. Isn't that so cute? So I do want to decorate this. I might ink it. I don't know. And then let's just try one of these because we've got our little... Now one thing that I do is I fold them in half and then I do give them a little snip here and round the edges. And you have to pick that off. It always stays. So just line this up. Nice glue pin. Thank you, Dana Fink. It's from you. I love it would be a great cookbook. It would. That'd be cute. You have some pretty scenery. Yeah, we do have pretty scenery. Okay, so you can, now this is the skinny one, the wimpy one. So, you know, you could take that back there and just have your little whatever else you wanted to put in there that you don't want to get messed up. So I probably would do one more, maybe I would put this in the middle and then do one more signature to give it room. But once you start getting tags in here, you know, that's gonna bulk up. So I might even put some in here and see. But yeah, I think it does need one more if you look at it, you know. So we did finish that up, yay. And I got to see the comments. I am so happy. I like the fall. Isn't that pretty? I might ink around the edge. I don't know. 
And like that, that doesn't bother me. But some people, you know, can just take a little green pen, a green um, marker or something, or your water pen and go down there and, and fill that in. Or a little gold, maybe. Yeah, if you ever cooked, I know, I don't ever cook. What would I put in here? Go to the store and get Twinkies. <laughs> I don't ever buy Twinkies. I have my standards. <laughs> Are they more of the clear thing? Are there any more of the clear thing? Yes. Yeah, I have these in my Etsy store. I love the autumn, too. And it's my birthday in the autumn, so. Oh, thanks, Anne. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hopping on and taking a look. I mean, you can see how fast it is to make, and you know what would be pretty? To take some of this jewelry. Let's just see what's in here. This is a random bag, but you know, it's got like all, like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? You could use that. It's just one of those old clip earrings, you know, to put on a page or put a little post-it on there or something. I mean, it is a little bulky. You might have to put something in here, like a piece of foam or something just to make it stick, but you could take like a little, I don't know, there's pins and look at this little wood piece. I mean, there's just all kinds of fun stuff in these, you know, and dangle it or use it for a charm. These are great for, um, not these, but the ones that are regular earrings. Of course, I'm never going to be able to find anything, but look at that with the leaves. It would be pretty to somehow, I don't know what you could do, maybe use that for closure? I don't know, but maybe a little antiquing on it, like a little, uh, there's stuff called, um, uh, it's like, um, oh shoot, look at this. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a flower. Wait, how does that work? Oh, it is another, look at that, isn't that pretty? Anyway, you never know what you're going to find in these, so if you want them, I got them. Got a lot of them. I love jewelry. Hammer it flat. You could do that. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty. A music for closure. <gasps> that would be really pretty. Um, I'm just trying to think of the name of that. It's like a, it's a paint. It's like an enamel paint, but you can kind of sand it off. And you use it with jewelry. I can't think of the name of it, but anyway. Oh, hey! Thanks, PA. The pumpkin, this is a napkin. Yeah, I figured something. PA is my friend that took me to lunch, and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do for Facebook Live. See, it's a napkin. And so we decoupage today. <laughs> Gotta be ready. I wasn't ready. Usually I'm a little better, but. So anyway, guys, thanks for patinas. Thank you. That was it. Oh, good. Patina paint. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Or rub and buff or alcohol. Any of those would work. Would burn your name on the wooden one. That'd be cool. See, look at your idea. Together we could rule the world. <laughs> In a frightening way, but a good way. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. P.A. Um, Hayward had his, his dinner. He fixed it himself. All the leftovers. We had, it was Taco Tuesday, so we had this tray like this. It's like this little carousel, and it was all divided up, and it had the meat, chicken, and beef, and then it had all these little dishes of, like, onions, cheese, sauce, you know, um, not guacamole I don't know whatever whatever was there it was so cute and we just spun it around and made our tacos it was great so anyway all right guys I'm heading out but thank you so much for coming and um I'll see you on Thursday okay all right and thanks again from Pam so much thanks for all of your nice notes we'll see you guys bye